Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Worker Studio. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the uh, font and other options related to the dimensions in SketchUp. So let's get to work. I'm going to start my job with modeling some type of simple word wrap for the interior design with some dimension about, for example, 60 to 180. And I'm going to extrude it a little bit to create some type of rectangle about 240 centimeter. So time for the creating some type of woodworking units for it. For this reason, I'm going to select this line, click on the move option, press Ctrl on my keyboard and activate my copy job. I need some copy about 10 centimeter and another copy about 80 centimeter. So I'm going to convert these faces to the half price so i'm gonna draw some type of line like that and i'm gonna draw another line in this place and i'm gonna take some simple copy in here so everything is done for me right now but for downside i have some plans so i'm gonna continue this line in here like that and I'm going to select this line, click on the move option, copy, and take some copy about 20 and 3x and press enter. So this is my wardrobe in here, as you can see for the clothes, racks, and interior works. So I'm going to take some save from this job, so I'm going to press Ctrl and S, so my file saved for me right now. So I'm going to use the uh, dimension line to create some different dimensions. This tutorial is really useful for the woodworkers or interior designers. So I'm going to select dimension box in here and add my dimensions to the environment. Very simple and easy like that. So I'm going to Check some dimensions like this with the double click. Very simple and easy. So as you can see, it's really easy job for us in here. And I'm going to repeat this job for all of my dimensions like that. So I can delete this dimension. I'm going to click on dimension and create another dimension. You have two ways for this job. You can select these endpoints in here like that or you can click on the dimension and move your cursor on the favorite line and left click as you can see dimension will generate for you so everything is done for us right now and i want to change some settings about my dimension job but i don't know how for this reason i'm gonna click on the window model info and we have some window that's called dimensions so in this place, when I click on the select all dimensions, as you can see, all of these dimensions will convert to the blue and it means that all of them selected for us. So I'm going to click on the leader lines and I can convert it from the non mode to the closed arrow mode or the open arrow or the dot mode or the final is the slash mode. I prefer to use for example dot mode in here and I want to change the color so I can click on this color picker in here and convert it for example to the uh, red color. Very simple like that and press OK. So I'm going to click on the font option in here and my favorite font is Tahoma so I only want to convert it to the bold model and decrease the size of it to the 10 or 11 so i can click on the ok and after all of these process i can click on the update selected dimensions so when i click on the update is selected and close the uh, model info as you can see all of the dimensions converted to the adapt uh, mode with the uh, red font color so i do this job in here right now and it's very simple and easy for the uh, final step I'm going to export this file as the a PDF. So for this reason, first of all, I'm going to fix my camera shot. So I'm going to click on the paint bucket and I'm going to click on the uh, scene in here. So 
I'm gonna click on the look around and add my eye height about 146 centimeter. My camera shot is the two point perspective camera shot and I can click on the uh, add scene in here. So scene number one generated for us and now I want to click on the styles, go to the M model, edit and turn on the depth skew, extensions and endpoints. So depth skew is one, extensions is one and the endpoint is one. So now I want to turn all of them off. My profile size is the one like that. And in face setting, we don't have some special options. But in the background setting, I want to turn off the sky. And I only have this type of background for myself. So in this place, watermark setting, you can add your brand, logo, and industry. At the final, we have modeling setting. So in this place, for creating some type of professional exports from the SketchUp without any type of rendering, you can turn off the model axis. So after all of these jobs, I want to click on the uh, update style with the changes. It means that when you click on the scene number one, you can see new things that you changed right now. So I'm going to click on the update style with the changes and everything is done for me right now. So everything is done in here. I close it. I go to the window, model info, statics, and purge all of the unused materials or textures. So I'm going to click on the scene number one, file, export option, 2D graphic. And for example, I select my desktop and change my type to the a PDF. So PDF is the first file in here. And I'm going to rename it to the... Uh, dimensions and I can click on the options too to see what happened as you can see we have some full scale drawing size with some widths and heights with the fitch and inches so I suggest to you please don't touch it and save it as the default mode so everything is good for us right now we don't have any type of a special problem so press ok and I'm gonna click on the uh, export and this dimensions file is my final file. So I'm going to click on it. And this is my PDF result with the Adobe Reader. As you can see, the quality of it is really incredible. And it's really nice and steady for people who are woodworkers or carpenters. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for your watching. Thanks for your support. Please subscribe our YouTube channel for more tutorials and goodbye.